Hello, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How are you doing? I hope that you're glad. It's Friday afternoon. We're heading into the weekend and you're here at the rest stop. So God bless you. And whether you see this on Friday or another day of the week, you are always welcome to stop by here and rest and stop with me. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. So what we do here at the rest stop is that we read the word of God, ponder a little bit, and then we take a little sila. We take a little rest, take a little stop. We ask the Lord to give us revelation in the word of God. So, all right. Our custom is to read from the lectionary. So we're in the 25th week of ordinary time. Let me pull up a lectionary reading here from the revised common lectionary. And what I have here is I want to read from, let's see here, first Timothy. Let's read from first Timothy chapter two, verses one through seven. When you have the word of God say, amen. Amen. First Timothy chapter two, verses one through seven. And it reads thusly. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. For this, I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What a great word. This is a great word. And um, there are a couple of things that have jumped out at me here. So we've, we've got an urging um, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made. And so it's very important that we pray one for another. We need to continue to pray for each other and also to express gratitude. Thanksgivings, right? So the weather has changed. We are now in the season of fall. And fall always reminds me of the season of Thanksgiving. And so, come on, let's give Thanksgivings. Let's give Thanksgivings for all that God is doing in our lives. And so, so, um, so there's the urging there, right? To be made for everyone. And this is for kings and for all who are in high positions. So remember to pray for those who are in authority over you as well. And um, and it says that it's right and it is acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. And then um, this whole thing about Jesus the Christ being the mediator. So we thank Jesus. We thank Jesus for how he bridged that gap for us. I just think I, I, I always see the cross really as the bridge, like those two planks, like it is it is the gap bridger. And Jesus, the Christ, has bridged that gap for us. So he is the mediator. He is the one who makes intercession for us. And so we thank Jesus for all that he does in our lives. Um, and then. Uh, and then here it's just, you know, talking about how faith and truth. So I want to encourage you just um, whatever you need to do to build your faith, go ahead and build it. Let's build it. Um, so let's build our faith in this new season. Let's remember to pray for one another. Let's make intercessions and always, always give thanks. Give thanks. A heart of gratitude is a is a gracious heart, gracious spirit. And so let's just pause in our Sila moment here. Um, with that in mind, just a heart of gratitude. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Let's pause together. Our Father and our God, we're so grateful for an opportunity to always come uh, in this great fellowship together around your word. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Even in those things that um, would alarm us, God, you know, you know, Lord. We're just grateful. We're grateful how you walk alongside us and how you are with us through it all. So, Lord, we pray that even as we go into this weekend, Lord, we we ask, Lord, that we would remember that you are with us. You are with us in our Sabbath rest. You are with us when we are in fellowship with our friends, Lord. Right, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, a time of Thanksgiving reminds us of that. Right, good food, good fellowship you know, good friends, good festivities. So Lord, we're just grateful that you nourish our soul and that you give us fellowship one with another to remember to make prayers and intercessions and supplications for those, uh, for others, uh, Lord. And so we're grateful for that, uh, for fellowship and festivities and to celebrate your goodness and your grace and your mercy and to proclaim, to herald the good news that Jesus the Christ is savior of all. And he is the one who makes intercession for us. He is the one who has bridged that gap. And so we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we adore you. So thank you. Thank you for all that you do for us. It is your name, Lord Jesus, I pray. And Lord, actually, I do want to make intercession. Since this is a time for intercession, Lord, I pray for those who are um, watching. I pray, God, that you would meet them at their point of need, Lord. And I pray, oh God, that you would increase their faith and that you would do miracles, that you would work miracles in their lives. Oh, my God miracles in the lives of those who are listening to this uh, rest stop today. God, I pray for them. I pray their health and their strength. I pray, God, that their their souls would be nourished. I pray, oh God, that you would give them a good fellowship one with another. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would give them increase, God, and that you would do a new thing in them in this new season. We give you praise. We give you honor. God, I pray, God, that you would keep them healthy. Keep us healthy, Lord. Keep us all healthy. But I pray, oh God, particularly for those who are listening to this um, rest stop, God, that you would give them good health, good health, good health. I pray, oh God, good health. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for joining me here at the rest stop. It's always just, a, just does my heart. So happy, glad uh, that you take the time out of your busy day to join me here. Have a blessed weekend. And if you're watching this during the week, have a blessed week. And I will see you all at the next rest stop. Bye.